My name is Yitz. Uh, I'm James. James. We are Sak Sak Sak. Um, we actually met in Vienna, but we are all from Izmir. Um, we met here through a friend of ours, and we started making music by accident. Actually, it was like a um, how do you say, an art project of his uh, for, from his art school and it was supposed to be a one-time thing, one thing but because of the good feedback and because we liked it so much we kept on doing and um, we made album one It's very natural that we are doing this in three languages and I think also we want to keep it that way because it's resembling us. Even though that grammatic is wrong, actually. In some songs, it's absolutely off, yes. But when you think about it uh, artistically, like as a Kunstwerk, it's not. You can make out of something, you can make a meaning out of it. So that's our uh, point and that's what we want to keep. Turkish music, but I'm not just talking about old music or something. I mean, after 40s, 50s or in general, 80s and 90s, kind of arabesque and the Turkish pop is kind of always a sad and kind of rebel to something, to life or to system, whatever you like to say or whatever they say. So, I mean, I think we brought this to our music. It's because a little bit angry and uh, sad. sad at the same And we are, of course, naturally born with this sound or with this thing in our heads. So I believe we also brought that kind of feeling, the sadness, but it's also angry. This word that I cannot really translate, we call it efkar in Turkish. It's also present in, uh, like Cemgin mentioned, uh, arabesque, like Arab influenced music in Turkey. Uh, I think it's a soup of all of it because we use rock lines with synthesizers but there is a folk instrument with very heavy effects on it so you cannot really tell it's just this it's it's a salad it's a it's a combination of many things yeah it, it was like Coincidence also how we found ourselves in this genre. Uh, we are still not so sure actually if we are dark wave, post punk, or whatever. Uh, but we were looking for specific synthesizers, specific sounds. We were hunting for them, and then the result uh, was naturally this 80s sound, post punk, depatch mode. I mean, we both like She Passed Away, for example, the, uh, one of the biggest names in the genre. That was a mutual point, but some things I like, he doesn't like. We are very much black and white in many things, actually. Mm -hmm. But we still have a common space that we can talk, that we can discuss and make music. I mean, the old ones everybody knows, actually. We don't have to repeat, like, the Cure, the Sister of Mercy. I mean, like, these are the same, but, for example, I can give a really nice name that we met in the last festival, that the solo ensembles from Lithuania. They are really interesting and a nice band, uh, and playing this genre exactly live on yeah, the stage. Very good. Also, um, you like Infect the Seat from France, small band. Um, we like DIY culture a lot, to be honest. We like it when the art is 
pure and real and genuine that it's that it's coming from personality from not from a, a, I don't know from material from the soul you know what I mean if if that's the case then there is music Borealis. Oh yeah, we have to make sure. He he did like two videos actually for us, and we like it was kind of cooperation between yes. us. Uh, due to and we made it ourselves completely and without any budget or anything. It was completely DIY. And also the other video clips, um, Rob Barrell is an independent filmmaker from New York, reached us just by, you know, just as a fan. And he said, hey guys, your music rocks and I want to make a video clip for you. And I'm like, okay, how much do you want? I don't want anything. I'm like, are you serious? No, I don't want anything. I just want to make a video clip for you because you're right, it's really nice, I want to work with you. We said, okay, do it. Do you need anything from us? No. Okay, then let's and give you... he said, you like, after one month, I will send the, the casting for this. Yeah, we make Zoom meetings, okay, we, we said, make idea, okay, brainstorming, let's do like that, or we have the story, maybe you can implement and so on. And he made it, two video clips, just out of uh, love, and, uh, and it's really awesome. Uh, you're really actually proud of this. I mean, who would do that? Reaching you out from the uh, end, another end of the road and saying, hey, I'm, I'm gonna make you something for free that is <laughs> that is an art piece of art nothing fixed yet but there will be more in sweden uh, at least one more uh, and maybe in paris and in belgium um, we cannot say so sure because we're right now working actually uh, to uh, finalize the second album. Uh, we got uh, uh, support from the Österreichs Music Fonds. Um, they were really uh, helpful to bring even better producted, um, like a better worked, let's say, um, music. Uh, I mean, we are still doing it all ourselves. It's still DIY, it's our own mini studio. I'm the one who is behind mixing it, he's the one who is doing guitar and so on. But it was nice to have this recognition, that the support from the Austria that we call today hometown. Um, that was really nice. So um, we have to finish it and then it will be out next year, I believe around um, April. That's I hope so. So that means we would be going on tour in summer or maybe in the last quarter of 2023. We will see.